Hello everyone, my name is Ishwara Srinivasan and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to briefly go over prompt engineering, especially because a lot of people reached out to me after I made a post on LinkedIn about prompt engineering. In layman terms, prompt engineering would basically mean how do you provide efficient inputs or efficient questions towards a generative AI model so that it is able to provide you with the best results that you're looking for. In this situation, think about it, right? There are so many different kinds of generative AI models. You can think about an image generator model, right? Like where you put a certain kinds of caption and it is able to generate the exact kind of image output just out of thin air, right? You would have seen a lot of people putting out pictures that they generated from DALI. Things like a dog wearing space suit and flying in the air or um, an elephant carrying an ice cream, right? Things like that. So these are some of the specific prompts that you're going to give to that model so it's able to generate the very specific results that you're looking for. Now, you might be wondering why is it important and if you have ever done this in the past. A lot of people in my post also said that prompt engineering is something which existed before and it wasn't until the generative AI models came into picture that it was tagged as prompt engineering. I do believe the same and I'll give you an example that I felt is very similar to what we are calling prompt engineering for the generative AI space, right? When you're using Google search, I use a lot of tricks to generate very specific and optimized search results. So for example, if I want specific keywords to appear in my search results, I use quotation marks. That makes sure that each and every result that I'm seeing on my first page, second page, etc. contains that particular keyword. If I want a particular keyword to not appear in my search results, then I use a minus sign and put that keyword in there so that that particular keyword does not appear in my search results. If I want a particular file format, let's say I'm looking for a uh, time series presentation, then I would say time series PPT or time series PDF and it will generate the search results which contains those file types. So what are these things, right? These are prompt engineering that you're doing with Google search. Similarly, when you are using an app like ChatGPT or any other generative AI system, how do you optimize the results that you want is what is called as prompt engineering. Now, a lot of you were asking, how do you learn prompt engineering? There is no one source that will be helpful for you to learn the art of prompt engineering because there's a lot of components that go into prompt engineering. You need to understand the capabilities of that particular system in and out, which means what are the kind of results the system can produce? What are the kind of output formats that it can produce? What is the extent of uh, knowledge that this system has? What are the kind of uh, questions or like language components that it can understand, etc. I'll give you an example. If you go to chat GPT and you ask it, hey, give me a diagram of um, MLOps pipeline. It's not going to give that, right? It's going to say that, hey, I'm a, I'm a language trained model and I only produce text based results. So you need to understand that the knowledge breadth or like the output breadth that chat GPT has is restricted to text output. Similarly, uh, it's, it's said that ChatGPT is trained based on data up till 2021, which means that any question that you're going to ask to it, which dates after that, it's not going to be able to answer. Similarly, there are restrictions or uh, subject matter uh, boundaries for each of these applications that you need to be well aware of for you to be able to best judge these kind of applications. Now, I'm going to give you one more example when, when using ChatGPT, right? Um, I have tried this out and you would also might want to like try it out. You can actually ask ChatGPT to act like a person. So you can ask the ChatGPT to be your financial advisor and say that, hey, imagine you're my financial advisor and I'm making an amount of money and uh, why is my expenditure per month? I have responsibilities towards my kids, towards my wife, towards my husband, etc. And now help me out with a good financial planning. In this case, ChatGPT actually understands how to get into a certain persona and give you subject matter expertise from that particular point of view. So that's a really good example of prompt engineering on how you can utilize the best knowledge from ChatGPT. 
So if you are interested in learning prompt engineering, there are a few resources which I'm going to put down in the description. And one book which you might want to read is the GPT-3 by Hugging Face, which I found was very helpful. There's also another book uh, called Transformers for Natural Language Processing, uh, which is published by Pact, which I also found was very helpful. So you can read that. These books are not going to be specifically talking about prompt engineering, but what they'll be doing is to make you understand that what are the components that go into building large language models, how do you tune these large language models, how do you understand the capabilities of these large language models, and how do you come up with minimal, uh, say like sentences in English or any particular language, so you're able to extract the best kind of outputs from these kind of models. So hope that is helpful. If you have any questions, please put that in the comments below.